everyone, I'm Seva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a healthy strawberry banana bread with no oil, no eggs, and no dairy. But I promise you it's delicious. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. Alright, let's get started. Now yes, this strawberry banana bread recipe is healthy, but I promise you, neither you, your friends, your family, whoever it is that's eating it is going to be able to tell the difference. So this recipe is, like I said, oil-free, dairy-free, and egg-free, which does make it gluten and vegan. Now for our ingredients today. We have some strawberries. I just chopped them up finally. I just used fresh strawberries. I have some on the side just to garnish on the top. It's going to be so, so good when it just gets a little bit crispy in the oven. Now for these, you can use fresh like I have here. You're just going to want to slice them. But you can also use frozen or freeze dried. Now if you're using frozen, just make sure you thaw them out completely and then take a paper towel or whatever it is to pat them dry. Then you're just going to slice them like normal. Now if you're using freeze dried, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you don't put them on the top to garnish them because they will burn in the oven. Now for the bananas, I have my bananas in here. I had mine in the freezer, so they're a little gooey, so I just put them in here already. Now remember, the browner the better because that's just gonna be more sweet for your banana bread. Now for these two ingredients, I will make sure that I'll link somewhere on the screen or down in the description box my strawberry banana smoothie video so you can get some nutrition facts on strawberries and bananas. And that is our oven. So, if I forgot to tell you, which I'm sure I did, the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven, because like I always say, you don't want to be sitting here completely done, ready to go, and you forgot to preheat your oven and you're sitting here forever waiting for it to get hot. <laughs> but, back to the ingredients. So, for this, the reason that it's vegan or dairy-free is because we're using almond milk and a vegan butter. You can use whatever milk it is that you want and whatever butter it is that you want or coconut oil, but just remember that's going to make it no longer dairy-free or vegan. Then we have any granulated sweetener. Now you can use whatever it is you want, brown sugar, regular sugar, <laughs> coconut sugar, whatever it is that you have on hand. Then we have our vanilla extract. Now this is a must when it comes to baked goods, especially banana bread. Then we also have our apple cider vinegar. Now this is the reason why we don't need any eggs in this recipe. The apple cider vinegar is going to act as our leavening agent in this recipe. This is one of the factors that's going to make our banana bread rise and give us that texture that we want. Next we have our baking soda. Now this is also going to help our banana bread rise so it's not so deflated in the center. Then we have just a little bit of Salt just to bring out some more of that sweetness. So then of course we can't forget our flour. I'm just using regular all-purpose because that's what I have on hand but to keep this with the gluten-free vibe going then you do want to use a gluten-free flour. Now they do have gluten-free all-purpose if that's something that you're interested in or whatever it is that you have on hand. Now last but not least we have our chocolate chips. Now technically this is optional but I think it's a necessity and I will make sure to link somewhere on the screen or down below my banana chocolate chip muffin recipe so you can get some nutrition facts on chocolate chips and dark chocolate. But of course today I'm using white chocolate because that's what I have on hand and we are in quarantine so this is what we're using today. Okay so now that we have all of our ingredients out here measured, we have our mixer, we have our bowls, we have our oven preheated, next it's time to prepare our loaf pan. Okay now to prepare your loaf pan you can use butter, you can use a pan spray, or you can use parchment paper. So. I highly recommend using parchment paper or a foil or something like that. It's just way easier to pull your bread out of the loaf pan. And if you want to sprinkle the top with your strawberries or with your chocolate chips, they're not going to get all squished when you put it upside down to take it out of the pan. So I'm just going to show you how I use parchment paper to just line my pan nice and evenly and I can just pull it out with little lips and just super easy. So I find that it's way easier. You don't have to get pre-cut sheets, but I have pre-cut sheets. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take our loaf pan, we're going to put it down flat, make sure you guys can see, and all we're going to do is we're going to mark where the loaf pan ends and just cut out little um, rectangles. So, pan ends right here, I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Little squares, little rectangles. Can you guys see that? You're just going to do that on all four sides and then it's, you'll see it's just going to slip right in. You don't have to worry about it not fitting or being all squished or wrinkly or whatever it is. You don't have to worry about spraying everything and having to really scrub this pan and get all that 
oily and greasy stuff off. Plus, we don't want any oil in this recipe. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll work, even if you're a little bit off. Okay. So now this is just going to depend on the size and shape of your loaf pan. But you should wind up getting a cross or something like this. And then you're just going to put it inside. And you'll be good to go. Easy. So now I'm just going to set this aside. And we're going to start combining all of our ingredients. So I'm just going to grab another bowl here. Now this is where you're going to want to add first all of your dry ingredients. So now that's going to be your salt, your baking soda, your sugar. I use light brown sugar so it's a little packed in here. And of course your flour. Now with my flour, you don't have to, but I did sift it because it was a little bit clumpy and it's just more airy when you do it that way, but that's totally not necessary. Okay. Now once we have all of our dry ingredients together, you're just going to want to lightly mix this around just to make sure everything's spread out evenly. Just lightly, because we are going to be using a hand mixer to blend everything really evenly. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is, I already have my bananas in here, you're going to want to add your wet ingredients. Now, aside from your strawberries and your chocolate chips. So, we're going to add our milk, whatever milk that you choose. My bananas are already inside, don't forget. We're going to add our vanilla extract and our apple cider vinegar and our butter. Now this is going to be half a cup of butter and that's one stick, so it's going to be eight tablespoons. Okay, so now this is where you're going to want to mix everything together and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So now I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients. Now you can always just do this all at once, but I like doing my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients separate just to make sure everything's mixed and there's no clumps and it's just a way smoother process. Now also with the dry ingredients, I'm not just going to dump the whole thing at once, I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. So as I said, I'm using normal all-purpose flour, so we are going to have some gluten. Now gluten is going to be <laughs> a topic for another video, but all I'm going to say is if you are using a normal flour like that that's going to have gluten, then just make sure you're only mixing until everything is well blended. Don't overmix, because when you overmix, that's when you're really going to activate the gluten and you're going to have a tough bread with a lot of peaks and holes and it's not going to be as moist or as soft and nice <laughs> how we want it. Okay, so I've made quite a few different banana breads before. But this one is a little bit different. So sometimes you're going to get batters that are super liquidy, like cake batter, other times more thick. So this is a banana bread. So it, this recipe in particular is going to be kind of in the middle. It's not really liquidy, so it is way thicker. But just keep in mind, like, don't think you did something wrong or you mixed it too much or you need to add some more milk or something like that. Please, trust the process. This is going to be super, super moist and delicious and you don't need to add anything else. So, now for the next step, you don't obviously want to mix this anymore, like I had said, because you don't want to activate any more gluten and have a tough bread. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our strawberries. Now, you want to take half of your strawberries, I probably should have said, and that's why I have them already separate here, because <laughs> you're going to want to garnish the top. So you want to take half of your strawberries and half of your chocolate chips. Okay, and then we're going to use the rest to just garnish on the top and it's going to come out super, super yummy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this in. 
Now you're going to want to do this number one because you don't want to over mix anything like I had said, but you also don't want to be squishing all of your beautiful strawberries either. You want to get some nice chunks of strawberries in there. Okay, beautiful. Now we're just going to take our loaf pan back. Alright, and then we're ready to just put it in our loaf pan. Now, you can see what I mean of how much thicker it really is. It's not very liquidy like a batter. Now I'm just going to take my spatula and I'm just going to make sure everything is completely even. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. I so badly want to just eat this whole batter. <laughs> Okay, so now for the fun part. Now, I like making everything just look aesthetic and just really beautiful and I'm just anal that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the rest of our chocolate chips to just top it off. And then we're going to take our sliced strawberries that we have left and we're just going to put them right on top. Look how beautiful. This is going to be so, so good, you guys. Just going to give it one last little rumble, and we're ready to go in the oven. Now we're just going to bake this in the oven for 45 to 55 minutes, and this is going to depend on your oven and whatever kind of pan that you're using. But you just want to make sure you just do the toothpick test, and once you pull it out and it's clean, then you should be good. But Keep in mind that this bread is eggless, so if it is a little bit on the undercooked looking side when you pull it out, that just means that it's super, super moist. Don't put it in there until it looks like super brown and dark and think that it's just undercooked. <laughs> okay, so we have just a couple more minutes before we're ready to take our strawberry banana bread out of the oven. I have my cooling rack here. Now I'm just going to take the loaf out of the oven and just put it on here. I'm not going to take it out of the loaf pan. I just don't want it to be cooling on top of a hot stove and oven over there. But now we just wait. So, so, so good. I can't wait. Okay, so now it's just time to let this cool and then I'll show you guys the final result and we'll cut some and then we'll try some. My favorite part. <laughs> Alright, so we're all out of the oven and we're cooled now, so it's time to take it out of our loaf pan. I'm just gonna see how easy that was. Okay, so we just come a little closer. Check that out. Oh. How beautiful. Okay, so now we're ready to cut our first piece. I'm not going to have the first piece because I don't like ends, but I will save it for a special someone who does. <laughs> okay, so now for my favorite part, tasting it. So we want to get part of the strawberry and the banana. Oh my god, my favorite banana bread ever. Okay, well that's all I have for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. Make sure to give me your feedback in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. If you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes just like this one, make sure to head to the description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!